We are under the lights this evening as we get you set for another edition of Baseball on the Show. Tonight, an intriguing matchup between the Houston Astros and the Texas Rangers. Stepping in, Michael Brantley. He'll get us started in this one under the lights. Ready to deliver the one and two. This is skied into the air to straightaway center. Santana handles it for the first out of the game. And that'll bring up Alex Bregman. Career against Kyle Gibson, an impressive four for seven. He's taken him deep once. From the windup, the 1 1 pitch. Ball. Here's a chopper to first. And he'll flip it to the pitcher covering for the out. Here's the second baseman, Jose Altuve. First chance for him here in the top of the first with nobody on. Into his motion, here comes the 3 and 1. Sent on the ground, but right into the shift. Throw on to Guzman at first, and the inning is over. Standing in, Elvis Andrews. He'll lead things off here in the bottom half of the first. Here it comes now to Andrews. And the knuckle curved that time. Got him swinging, and that's the first out. So the bases are empty with one man gone. And that means the corner infielder Matt Duffy will bet next. And he missed with it here, so now it's a full count, three and two. Willie Calhoun will be next. Oh, and he lets him off the hook there as this isn't even close for ball four. So a runner at first with one out now. And into bat next, former Dodger minor leaguer Willie Calhoun. And he pumps the fastball by him here. One and two now. Hey, that two-seam fastball is going to be the be-all, end-all of this game right here. Who's going to execute? Is the pitcher going to be able to keep going to that well? Or is the offense going to be able to make an adjustment and hit that ball in the gap? Now another one-two. To two it's balls not. and two strikes now. Squared that one up just a little late. And a wave and a miss on a ball that was way out of the strike zone. There are two away now. Here's Joey Gallo now. He's coming off a three hit performance in the loss last night. Fouled away. The next one two pitch a swing and a miss as he chased with two strikes and that will retire the side. Striding in for Houston Jordan Alvarez they'll get us started in the top of the second. The three and one pitch. A swing and a miss and that'll fill the count at three and two. And he turns this one around high and deep to center field. A ball that's carrying. But he has no chance to make the play. It's off the wall. And he's going to get to second now with nobody out. The first base number 10. Into the box, Yuli Buriel. Took a good cut that time. It comes up empty two and two. Did a good job to shorten up and protect the plate, and he'll have another shot at it here. He's got that certainly timed up now. I'd be shocked if the pitcher goes to the well three oh. times in a row with off speed. Good eye to lay off the slider there, and he works it to full three and two here. Oh, line, that's a base hit in the left field. Now the throw comes quickly into the third baseman, so they're at the corners now to begin the inning. 
six. The center fielder, number four, George. To the plate now, George Springer. Drilled right back up the middle. Dive, but it's in and out of the glove, and the run should score. And the run will score as the Astros are off to the early 1-0 lead. Stepping in now, Carlos Correa. And a slider's in the dirt as he lays off it for a ball. His pitch count is getting up there in the inning now. He needs to get this frame over with sooner than later, so forcing contact and getting the defense involved is probably the best thing he can do. Hoping to send him packing. Pitch on its way. Guriel over at second. Springer at first with no outs. Good job going down and hanging with it that time. The 2 2 one more time. Hard hit ball to second. Fielded by Adore. The second for one to first and Guzman to complete the double play. So a man at third here with two gone. And that brings up the former gold glover Josh Reddick. He struck him out, and it could have been worse. The inning over with only a run coming across to score. Up next for the Rangers, Danny Santana. He's ready for his first at-bat of this early season contest. Here it comes. And he can't catch the corner here, so he's behind three and one. And he takes ball four. Leadoff man's aboard here to begin the home half of the second. Now at the plate, Shin Su Chu. He's ready for his first at bat of this early season contest. Now a swing and a miss as he picks up another one. Make it four strikeouts already, and there's your first out. Stepping up now, Ronald Guzman. First swings for him in this one with a runner still at first and one gone. High ties him up with a fastball inside, one and two. Got to pitch to the ballpark's dimensions right here. Love the execution of that pitch down in the zone. Got to keep the ball in the yard. And it's fouled away. Working for the punch out and the offering. Seventh pitch of the at bat coming up. And he fouls this one off. Not close with that one. It's way above the strike zone. We could see the runner in motion here on a 3 2 count with one out. There's a pretty good chance he's going to get a pitch to swing at. And if not, it's ball four anyways. And, whoa, awfully close, but it's ball four, according to Woody Keller. The 1-1 is laid off for ball two. Has to be a challenge pitch coming up here. He probably doesn't want to flirt with loading the bases. Swing and a miss. Does that look like self-defense there? It's two and two. In a big spot like this, you have to be looking for something you can handle. That pitch bunched him up completely. So I think he's trying to do a little bit too much right now. Strike three called. And now he's one out away from getting out of this. The second base Ready with the one-two. Got him swinging. And that will end the inning. Set to get his evening at the plate started, Garrett Stubbs, batting just a notch below 300 so far on the season. One and two as he chases the slider. And a sinker dips too low there, into the dirt, in fact. Here's the pitch on two and two. And, oh, he can't get out of the way of that one, so the leadoff man will be on to open the frame. 
Back to the top of the order now. And Michael Brantley settles in to hit at the plate. From the stretch. Back up the middle. And Brantley will reach. He's got a base hit. The third baseman the two. At the plate, Alex Bregman. Not the best of sinkers that time. Ball high. Looking at his career totals, Bregman has just over 100 career home runs to his credit. And it misses 3-1 and one now. I don't blame him for not coming over the heart of the plate. He circled this guy on the lineup card when he got to the yard today. He's been swinging one of the hotter bats in the game. Now a sinker this time, but this ball stays outside as he loses him here. It's ball four. Set and the two and one pitch. Now a breaking ball, but it's low. Just got a piece of that one. Perhaps shortening up now will get the ball in play. Ground ball to second. This could be two. Andrews back to first. So they get the double play, but the run does come in to score. So base is empty now after the double play. And striding forward, the designated hitter, Jordan Alvarez. Skied in the air to straightaway left. And he will make the catch just shy of the track, and the inning is over. So Elvis Andres the next to bat. He'll lead it off against Lance McCullers. Hey, we're still in the early stages in this one. They're only down by a couple of runs. But it's really key oh, for this leadoff guy to try to get on and get a big inning started. And good patience exercised as he works out the walk to lead off the home half of the third. And he lays off the pitch down and away. Ball two. Sometimes it can be difficult for a pitcher. You're facing a guy that's not known to be a big stick in the lineup. Sometimes the toughest thing is to be aggressive and throw strikes. Two balls and two strikes. Duffy. Hit out towards second. Altuve fields it cleanly. The Guriel and they get them both. So next to the plate for Texas, Willie Calhoun. He looked to bounce back after striking out his last time up. Now the 2-1. Taken strike two. Rangers still searching for hit number one in the ballgame. Pulls this one into the air out into right field. On the move is Reddick. He's there to make the play, and that'll retire the side. Cuban import Yuli Gurriel one for one after a single this first time up one of the keys to securing a win they want to keep the pressure on and try to build that lead as much as they can moving into the later innings and the throw will indeed take care of him for the first out so one away here with the bases empty and former World Series MVP George Springer bats next Pulls this one in the air out to left. Left fielder giving chase. He gets there, and that's the second out. So bases are empty here with two gone. And ambling over to the batter's box is Carlos Correa. And a sinker dips too low there. Into the dirt, in fact. in there two and two two balls two strikes a crucial count for both pitcher and hitter so Dan what was your approach on the mound in that count do you still pitch for the strikeout here action pitch right here two two the last thing you want to do is to fall behind the count three two lifted in the air to right field on the move is Chu he's there to track it down and that'll end the inning
So that brings up the big bat of Joey Gallo. He was a strikeout victim in his first try. Yeah, but it was a good changeup, Matty. Good arm action on that pitch. Look for him to try and stay Whoa. back a little bit more. Let the ball get a little deeper. Don't be shocked if this pitcher tries to rush a heater right here. And a changeup swung on and missed for the first down. Striding into the box, Danny Santana. He drew a walk his first time up. And that misses two and one. Two one. Lifted down the line and left. And this will wind up a foul ball. And another foul ball. The 2-2. Two -two. Hey, three foul balls in a row right here. Searching for that put away stuff. And this will be fouled away. Another try at 2 2. Oh, and he can only battle for so long as he's finally set down here after an eight pitch at bat. The battle. Digging the in for his second at bat, Shin Su Chu. This guy's still looking at a zero in the hit column. A ball and two strikes now. Two out, nobody on. Chopped up the line to first. And an underhanded throw is in time for out number three. So here's Josh Reddick. 0 for 1 for him here in this one. Bonnie bailed him out with a swing. 3 and 2 now. You have to find a way to lay off that low sinker. There is just no way to do any damage. You're just looking at either a bruised shin or a ground out to the left side. Now Locked him up with the off-speed stuff on that one. Josh Reddick goes down for the first out in the fifth inning. On its way is pitch number 75. And a swing and a miss as they got him with the slider there. Two away. Next up for the Strohs, Michael Brantley will attempt to put the ball in play for a change here with the first two guys going down on strikes to start the inning. This is pulled into right. He leaps, but he can't get it. It's down for extra bases. And he'll coast into second here with a two-out double. Now that the third base. At the plate now, Alex Bregman. No offer on that one. Two balls and a strike. And he can't catch the corner here, so he's behind three and one. This is where you cash your checks right here. Three one. You're one of the best hitters in the game. You live for situations like this. Full count now. Three and two. Hit hard up the middle. And that's through into center field. Base hit. Throw into second. But he'll get in there with an RBI double. Now that the second base. Jose Altuve. In now, Jose Altuve. Swing and a miss, and it's a ball and two strikes here. Hey, this is a big pitch right here. Can't allow them to attack on any more runs. Let's see if he attacks his own or buries something in the dirt. Count even at two and two. From the belt, the pitch. Well, right back at him, and it hit him. Throw to first, but he's safe. And now the stadium's attention turns back to the man on the mound. Standing in now, Jordan Alvarez. Late on that one as it's fouled off to the left side. Hit sharply on the ground. On the first with it himself is Guzman, and the inning is over. Set now for the bottom of the fifth. Stepping in, Ronald Guzman reached base via the walk in his first plate appearance. From the windup, the 1 1 pitch. He pulls this one into right, and the Rangers are in the hit column. For the Rangers, the 
Into the box now, Robinson Chirinos. One and two to the Rangers catcher. And this is pop foul, but perhaps playable behind first. And no one can get there. He'll try it again. Here's another one, too. You can certainly tell at bats like this one frustrate the heck out of a pitcher. But you got to find a way to stay composed and execute your plan. Now a drive by Chirinos. Deep left field. Gone! Stepping in now, Rugnit Odor. Fastball taken inside for a ball. Two and one now. Looks like that bomb earlier in the inning kind of put this pitcher on the defensive. That being very aggressive right now. Here now the 2-2. He swung on and missed. He got him on strikes. So it's back to the top of the order now. And that'll bring up the shortstop, Elvis Andrews. Two balls and a strike to the Rangers leadoff hitter. This year against right-handed pitching, Andres is below the Mendoza line. Batting average under 200, unfortunately. He'd be the first to tell you he's not happy with his batting average this season, but he can beat you in a variety of different ways, and he has to because he wouldn't be here otherwise. Ready once again, Matt Duffy. He was a double play victim last time around. He doesn't have to worry about that in this situation, Matty. No one on base right now. Try and get something up so you can drive the baseball. Now a fastball gets the upper part of the zone for strike two. Good eye to lay off the knuckle curve that time, and he makes it a full count. For the guy in the mound, this is one of those innings where nothing comes. And we'll have to leave it there as this is strike three, and that will retire the side. Jesse Chavez takes over to start the sixth inning on the mound. Number 30. So here's Yuli Gurriel. The 1 1 home. Hit hard on the ground at first. And that's through for a hit. He's around first, heading for two. And he'll pull into second here with nobody out. The center fielder, number four, George Turner. To the plate now, George Springer. To two and two now. Neither guy willing to give in, and the ad battle continue. Now he sends a routine fly ball out to straightaway center. Santana is right there, one down. Ready for another shot now. Carlos Correa. He flew out in his last at bat. Almost, Matty. Almost went deep his last AB. Certainly just missed it. With this guy's big power, he's feeling pretty good at the dish. Look for him to. And the indication from the dugout comes. It looks like they're going to put him on intentionally. So that'll set up the double play possibility with one away. John Red. This is skied into the air to straightaway center. Center fielder giving chase. Oh, what happened? He dropped it. And they'll hold that runner at third as everybody moves up a base, and they're loaded with one away. Now at the plate, Garrett Stubbs. He went down on strikes last time up. And he can't allow the same thing to happen in this situation. This is a big-time spot in this game. He's got to find a way to put the ball in play. Lifted down the line in left. 
But this will land untouched. Lifted into center field. Catch made in center. Here comes the runner from third. And this will go down as a sack fly and an RBI as it's now a 4 to 2 game. And here's the left handed hitting Michael Brentley. So far, two for three in this one. The 1 1 is taken for ball two. Two one. Three balls and a strike to Houston's left fielder. Three and one here. You have to make a good pitch on the mound. Grooving one here rarely works in your favor unless the hitter tries to do too much with it. And he misses with it for ball four. So the bases will be loaded now with two away. So coming to the plate, Alex Bregman. One of the bigger spots in the ball game so far. Bases juiced now with two away. The set and the one one. A pretty aggressive pitch right there up in the zone. Surprised he didn't offer at it. Popped up. Torinos shading to his right. And they will avoid the big inning as he makes the catch. So just the one run scores here in the frame. Framber Valdez enters to do the pitching in the bottom of the sixth. Number 59. And here's the former prize Dodger prospect Willie Calhoun. He comes in 0 for 2 thus far. Things not looking very good so far in this one, but we're still in the middle innings. They're down by a couple of runs, and this would be the right place and the right time to get something going. The last thing they want to do is to try to come from behind and win this one in the eighth or ninth inning. And that one misses, so the leadoff man will head down to first on ball four to start the bottom of the sixth. So a runner at first now with nobody out. And up to bat next, the left-handed light tower power of Joey Gallo. Popped him up. Under it is Altuve, and he's got it for the first down. Digging in the switch hitter, Danny Santana. He got called out on strikes his last time through. Yeah, Matty, and hopefully he got it out of his system. Especially now, he's got to bear down. He gets the two strikes in this spot. Has to put the ball in play. One and two now. From the stretch. Look out. That one almost got away from him. Two and two now. Slap hard the opposite way. And that's in there. Base hit. And now this is thrown wildly, just getting it into the infield. At the plate now, Shinsu Chu. Keeping it down here as it's to one and two. Got him to chase after the curveball below the zone there. That was a really nice pitch. It can be a really tough one to lay off of as a hitter. Good job to spoil that one away, and he stays alive. Set and the 2 2 pitch. Okay. Pitch taken several inches below the zone, in fact. Oh, and there's the good curveball as he set down on strikes for the second time here tonight. Now so two the away for the Rangers here in the sixth, oh. and that'll bring up the left handed hitting Ronald Guzman. Strike three called as he can't get the bat off his shoulder. Side retired. Nick Goody is on to pitch from the bullpen now to start inning number seven. Number 41. So up to the plate next will be Jose Altuve. He's got a hit in three at bats to this point. Now the 2 1 pitch. Oh, and a look what I found out there on the mound. And he'll flip on to first to record the out. So here's the Astros cleanup hitter, Jordan Alvarez. He was retired via the ground ball last time up. Now the one and one pitch. This one smoked the other way, high and deep to left. Running hard, he's digging for second. 
And he'll reach second now with one away. So now to the plate, Yuli Guriel. Oh, and ouch, that one drilled him. No chance to make a play. Let's see if he's okay out there. And the runner from second will stay put at third, so their runners at the corners now with one away. Standing in now, George Springer. One and two now as that one's fouled off. As a look, now the pitch. If you're on the mound right there and you're getting a swing at a breaking ball off the plate, do not be shocked if he's tucked something up under this guy's chin hot right here. Swing and a miss, and they'll dodge a major bullet that time. Two away. Uh, had him off stride that time, and it's one and two. Ugh, is that ugly? You could probably throw anything out there to this guy. He'd swing at the Raza bag if you throw it up there. A swing and a shot hit down the corner. And nearly a three-run shot. Instead, it's a foul ball. Swing and a miss as he chased with two strikes, and that will retire the side. Chris Davinsky gets the call from the pen to take over on the mound and start the home seventh. Number 47. Digging in and looking for more, Robinson Chirinos. He comes in one for two with that home run he hit earlier. The 2-2. Two -two. Swing and a miss as he ran the fastball right by him for the first down. Here's Rognit Odor now. It's been an 0 for 2 effort for him to this point. Now a good pitch around the knees, but it doesn't quite catch the bottom of the zone. A couple strikeouts early in the game, but he's done a much better job in this at bat, trying to get ahead and put himself at a good hitter's count. Bregman moving to his left. Two gone. Here's Elvis Andrus now. It was a flyout for him in his last trip. The one two. Swing line drive. That's going to be trouble. And this will get all the way to the wall now. And he is in the second with a two-out double. At the plate, Matt Duffy. Two and two. Seventh inning here at the ballpark. 4-2 our score. He got him. Lively fastball that time. And it puts an end to the inning. Brett Martin has been summoned from the bullpen as he'll do so to start the eighth. Number 59. Stepping in is Josh Reddick. 0 for 3 with a couple of strikeouts for him to this point in the ballgame. The 1-1. One, one. A swing and a drive sent out toward the gap. But that'll be off the wall in right center. And this throw gets away from him. Now that the catcher, Garrett Stubb. Into the box, Garrett Stubbs. Lifted the other way out to left center. Center fielder giving chase, but he won't get there. It falls in. The throw is wild, and it gets away. And a dive, but it just tips off his glove as it's by him for a base hit. To the plate now, Michael Brantley. One and two now. Getting late, 4-2 our score as we play the eighth inning. High and deep to right. Back 
goes Chu to the track. And this ball is gone. No chance to make a play on that one. Luis Garcia is on to pitch here in the eighth with nobody out. Number 45. Luis. Into the box now. Alex Bregman. And there's ball two now. This is on the ground over to first. Speared on the dive. It's there. He got him. At the plate, Jose Altuve. He comes into this appearance in the midst of a one for four day. The 2 2 is swung on and missed strike three. Striding forward now is the DH, Jordan Alvarez. It was a two bagger for him in his last at bat. He's set. Here's the 2 2. Here is a ground ball now for the shortstop to the right of second. Throw on to Guzman at first, and the inning is over. Brad Peacock goes on to pitch out of the bullpen in the bottom half of the eighth. Number 41. Bottom of inning number eight set to go. To the plate now for Texas is the DH. Willie Calhoun. It was a walk in his last trip. It doesn't look very promising so far in this one as we move into the later innings. Down by a bundle, it's time to get some base runners and hopefully a long ball to get them back into this one. And he wasn't going to hit that one with an oar. The strikeout, and there's one gone. The 1-1. One -one. Waves and misses for strike number two. Hmm, got caught lunging there as this one's fouled away. Counts even two and two to Joey Gallo. Two runs, four hits, and one error in the ballgame for the Rangers. And that's taken high for a ball. It's full now, three and two. Looked like he tried to elevate a fastball in that 2-2 pitch there, but kind of overdid it. With a pitch that high, it's pretty easy to lay off if you're the hitter. And this one bounds around against the wall. And he'll pull into second with one away. Now back, center fielder, Danny Santana. So now to the plate, Danny Santana. There's a swing and a drive hit well out to right field. Gone! In now, Shin Su Chu. Turned on down the line. And he'll take it to the bag himself for the out. Stepping up to the plate, Ronald Guzman. He singled earlier, making him one for two to this point. Now the one and one pitch. Left side, but well foul. The one two. No. Still even at two and two. Now the pitch. And a half-hearted swing there as they tie him up inside for the third strike, and the inning is over. set for the start of the inning into the box now Yuli Gurriel it was a single for him in his last at bat now the one and one pitch oh. big sweeping breaking ball right there good pitch but if he wants to get him to swing at it he'll have to bring it in a little bit closer to the strike zone ball even at two and two ground ball right into the shift and a diving effort there but it'll come up empty it's a base hit At the plate now, George Springer. High fly ball out to straightaway center. Long run for the center fielder. He makes the catch. A great effort to get there and record the first out of the inning. Standing in, Carlos Correa. He struck out swinging in his last trip to the plate. 
Yeah, he's got to put that one behind him, especially with runners in scoring position. Those punch outs will stick with you a little longer. Odor on to Guzman. They get them both, and that retires the side. Ryan Presley comes on looking for a save here in the bottom of the ninth inning. Number 55. Ryan. Striding in to start the ninth, Robinson Chirinos, as they'll look to get something going here and even this game up. Hey, not impossible, but highly improbable. Even when you're at home to score three runs off a closer like this guy, they've got the work cut out for him. Look at the radar gun on that slider. Off speed pitch, 91 miles an hour. That's just pure filth. Just staying alive, putting together a really good at bat here. He'll try again, one, two. And there's a fastball well off the plate inside. Full count now, three and two. You do not want to walk the eight hole hitter. It just opens up so many options. Do we bunt them over to second with the nine hole hitter? Do we try and play for that big rally with the top of the order coming up? This is a huge pitch. You can't allow this guy to walk. Now so he racks up the, the swinging strikeout on the breaking ball. Okay. Robinson Chirinos oh, is sent goal. packing for the first out in the bottom of the ninth. No oh, offer on that one. Two balls and a strike. Two, A little oh. too tall that time. Three and one now. Hey, if you're going to throw a pitch like that to this guy, that's right where you want to miss. Any lower, and he'll probably make you pay for it. Popped him up. And no one will track it down. And he takes ball four. So a good job out of the nine hole in getting on base as we go back to the top of the order. So the lineup flips over and digging in Elvis Andrews. He doubled his last time through. Well, he got a good pitch to hit last time up. Looked for it up in the zone and didn't miss it. Those are the pitches you only get maybe once an A-B, maybe once a game, maybe once a week. So he certainly capitalized on it last time. To two and two now. Skied in the air to straightaway left. Brantley is under it. He hauls it in without any trouble, and there are two away. Digging in, Matt Duffy. He comes to the plate as the last chance for his side. Two out here in the ninth. Taken called strike two, and now they're down to their final strike tonight. Texas down to their final strike in this one. Hit out towards second. There is Altuve. Throw to first will be in time to get him. And the Astros continue the role they've been on. Seven straight victories now as this ball game is over. Wow, what a week for these guys. Talk about firing on all cylinders. Winners of an amazing seven games in a row. They say to never question the streak, and these guys aren't. They're just enjoying this ride. 7-4 to four is the final score in tonight's game. Houston crossed the plate three times in the eighth, helping propel them to the win. Lance McCullers takes the win on the mound, his second of the year, as he racked up ten strikeouts in the effort. Ryan Presley wraps it up for the save, his third of the campaign. So that's a wrap here tonight. For Mark DeRosa, Dan Plezak, and Heidi Watney, this is Matt Vaskersian. You've been watching MLB The Show. For more, find us on Twitter, at Band MLB The Show. Tonight. First for the victorious Astros, seven runs on 14 hits. No error. They left 10 men on base. For the Rangers, four runs on six hits. One error. They left seven men on base. Time of the ball.